Wise Green from Four Wheeling in New South Wales. We are up here at Camp Cobark at Gloucester. We were due to come up next weekend or the last weekend of this month for the drift camping event, but it has been uh, postponed due to the pandemic. So we've just come for a run up here, a bit of time off work, and we're camping in the same spot over the background here is where they had the drifter camping event the last couple of years. And yeah, right on the Cobark River, as you can see down there, beautiful riverfront. Sound of the water running. Oh, what a spot. And we've got along with us Frank and his wife Olga from the Teardrop Camper Company. Put links below and they've come for a run up as well just for a few days. So yeah, great little short trip up here. Trailer there, up the tent. A big gazebo at the closed in screen room to stop the flies because there's plenty of those up here. Yeah, what a beautiful spot. So I didn't do a lot of filming today because we sort of got here and set up. I did send the drone up. So pumped I ended up getting onto a, a drone a week or so ago, a Mavic Air. Been saving for a while so thank you very much to everyone that has bought chopping boards, t-shirts, the stubby coolers, stickers, all the funds that I've been raising through that were to go into the channel and it's allowed me to buy an awesome drone, a Mavic Air as I say. So you'll see some footage throughout this clip. Did a bit along the river today and tested it out going up a couple of things. But yeah, so check that footage out. We're going to go, today's Thursday, tomorrow we're going to go into Gloucester, into the town, grab a couple of supplies. I've got to go to Drifter and pick up a bag. I've got to swap over a camp oven bag that they've made for me. So awesome stuff to Ben there at Drifter for organising that. So yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll go for a walk. Going to go up to the top of that hill tomorrow and see what's up there. Yeah, it's about it. We'll film a little bit more over the next couple of days. We're probably going to stay till Saturday, if not Sunday, depending on the weather. As you can see behind me, the clouds have come over. They were predicting pretty heavy rain up here, but make the most of it. It's only what you make of it. And I had the time off work, so we thought we'll go anyway. But yeah, what a beautiful spot. There's only one other camper right down the river there. And other than that, there's no one here. We've got the whole place to ourselves. It's 20 bucks a night. You can go to Camp Cobark's headquarters down that end of town and they've got shower blocks, toilets. They do trail rides, horse riding, etc. I think that's 25 a night maybe with the amenities, but yeah, we like the remote camping as you guys will all know. But yeah, just a glorious spot. You've got all these beautiful rolling hills, even coming in through Berico, just as far as you can see, it's just this beautiful countryside. So anyway, I'll leave it there. We're gonna go and hook into some tea. We've got burritos cooking up now, so We'll go and have a bit of dinner and uh, we're going to have an early night. We're up at half past four this morning <laughs> so that we could leave home nice and early. So we're a bit tired. It's about half past six now. So we're going to eat tea and jump in the swag and uh, get a bit of shut eye. But yeah, we'll catch us anyway. We'll do a bit tomorrow. Chloe's had a swim in the river and it's been a good start of the four days. So anyway, thanks for watching. Again, huge shout out to everyone who's bought merchandise as I said I wouldn't have been able to purchase my drone without the support of you guys and it's to bring better footage and obviously enhance the channel more than what I can just currently with my standard camera range so massive thank you especially to Ben and, uh, he's one of my patrons so awesome mate I really appreciate your support Ben and a shout out to Russ as well the fellow I picked up the drone from he was very sad to see it go but said he had to get rid of it so yeah Thanks heaps Russ, really appreciate it mate, it's an awesome drone so can't wait to get used to it all. Anyway, thanks guys, I'll leave it there, enjoy the evening, cheers. I'll just keep the uh, volume down because still got a few people in bed this morning but it's day two Friday and the sun's coming up over the back here through the fog absolutely beautiful spot wasn't ridiculously cold overnight but coolish but good sleeping bag sorted that out and yeah, if, have a look at that behind me here just the beautiful foggy morning it's going to be a top day I've got the solar panel out around the corner already. Catch the rays as they come up. River running here this morning. Sounded beautiful while we were asleep. It almost sounded like the ocean, so really nice spot. 
little eastern rosella on the fence here just landed. Oh, it's just stunning. Absolutely beautiful spot to wake up to. So I've already boiled the cattle. I've just knocked up some uh, nice percolated coffee, some caramel flavoured coffee. I'm going to go over and uh, light the little drifter fire pit now and warm up a bit, have some breakfast and then later this morning we're going to head over to drifter headquarters and swap that camp up and bag over and have a look around. I'm going to take Frank for a run as well so we can see what sort of gear they do. We'll do a bit more filming as we go. Cheers guys. So I've just moved the tarp out and there's a little tiny, I don't know if it's a domestic mouse that's got out here on his own or a little field mouse, but there's a little grey mouse under here. There he is. He's a quick little bugger. He's gonna round up me in his leg. There he is. There he is. Come round here and show you. Hmm? Is he still under there? guys it's Friday Arby hopefully you can hear me because the water's really loud it's about four o'clock and we're just sitting down here in the river it is a little bit cool but bloody awesome camps up that way and then I'll spin this camera around and Chloe's having a little mini spa bath we've got the river going all the way down there nice little rope swing in the tree yeah we're just relaxing <laughs> A bit cool as Chloe just found out but yeah just sitting and chilling out it's beautiful it's like a leg massage here in the in the white water rapids so I'll just show you there the rapids down there there's a little there's literally a little seat there that your bum fits in perfectly and then the white water rapids hit your legs like a massage it feels like a spa it's awesome so yeah, just going to chill for a bit and I'm going to go up and cook up some uh, chicken. I'm going to do chicken and rice in the camp oven. So I've got some wood up the top in the drifter fire pit. I'm going to wait till sunset this afternoon and uh, put the drone up as well, get a little bit more footage. So yeah, so relaxing and peaceful up here. You've got to get up here. Camp Cobark, awesome spot. 
You've got all the mountains around you and these beautiful big clouds. They're predicting a bit of a storm coming in, so hopefully we don't get too much rain because we're packing up probably tomorrow. We're not going to stay Saturday night, I don't think, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, cheers guys. Thanks for watching and um, we'll film a little bit more of the Sabi, I guess. guys so we are down at the river 10 o'clock and we're checking out some of the bugs down here we found freshwater prawns there's a little frog over here which I'll spin the camera around and show you so just remember when you are camping just because the Sun goes down doesn't mean you have to miss out on a bit of adventure time especially with the kids they love this sort of stuff so yeah we'll see what we can see anyway with this light there's a little frog here that Chloe's found already. I'll get this light down and camera down. There he is. That little fella there. Oh, Jesus, some mozzies down here. A little bloke there, you can see. He just jumped in the water and swam back out and hopped up there. And remember to wet your head. Yes, if you are going to touch them or pick them up, make sure oh, you... Did he? Yeah, he's gone. Make sure you wet your hands first. Otherwise, yeah, if you touch them without wetting your hands, you can burn their skin. Oh, look at that big bugger, big eel. Shivers. I hope that's showing up. I'll circle it in the footage so you can see it, but massive big eel going up the middle there. Get the life out of me. Wouldn't want that touching your leg when you're night swimming. Oh, I can't see there you go, we've got a little yabby down here as well. You can see his little eyes lit up there. Again, I'll circle the footage in case it's not showing up real good. Going across there with his big arms out. They look like a little excavator or a bulldozer. Baby yabby! They look like a mud gudgeon or something. Sorry, I keep cutting you off. Baby yabby, see him? Yeah, the little the tiny freshwater prawns and there's yabby, little baby yabbies. and so cool. There's another one of those gudgeony things just there with the stripes on him, Puds. Right there, in front of me. Can't see him. Oh, oh I torches. see him, yeah. Yeah. I see him now. There's heaps of them, we don't know what they are. I touched it. Yeah, little yabby there going across on the bottom. That eel was a corker.
tight slip. Oh. That is so cold. So good, but so cold. Oh, it's going straight down my shirt. <laughs>